Now, the 10 minute drill. This is a big one. Brought to you by tireoutlet.com. Wholesale prices, premium service. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit it. All right, a little sports concepts and rationalizations on our Freaky Friday. The poll question is up at Dan Hicken if you want to vote. Which of the four teams that haven't been to the Super Bowl get there first? Jags jumping out hot early. Who, who, who was on the list? Go Jags. Jags, Lions, Texans, Browns. The four that have never been. Never been. I uh, Somehow, amazingly, if you sat here right now and you handicapped those teams in Vegas, the Browns would have the best odds. Uh, 59 votes. Just put it up. Uh, uh, the Texans, 39. Browns, 31. Jags, 27. Lions, 3. Right? The Browns, are to me, appear like the... the well, maybe the Texans are still in a little better shape, but I don't know. They may not be. The Browns may be the best of those four teams today. Now, it's the NFL. That could change in a year, right? Mm-hmm. All right, so we're going to do a little 10-minute drill here at the end of the 10-minute drill. Beef, what are we giving out as a prize pack on a Friday? Yeah, stay tuned. Uh, yeah. At the end of the segment, you'll have your chance to win a prize pack. It contains a pair of tickets. Oh, no. Be foggy out. You want that one or the floral one, Jeff? Floral. Yeah, go with the floral. It's a nice, uh, it's, it's a nice little potpourri. Uh, you're going to get a pair of tickets. To the duel at Daytona coming up on Thursday, February 14th. Plus, you'll take home a $20 gift card from our friends at 1000 Degrees Pizza. You can use that over at their new Southside location. Sweet revenge, ladies Remember, and gentlemen. Let going the pizza on sit here in the office. Or blow up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Thousand if it's 1000 Degrees. degrees mm, that is pungent. All right, let's go. Uh, let's wow. start with this. Uh, this thing's an astral. <laughs> What a difference uh, a, a player makes. LeBron returns. Lakers win. Uh, chasing the team that they got to catch for the eighth spot right now, the L.A. Clippers, last night at Staples. This is how good the NBA is. And that was the third most interesting game of the night to me. Yeah. Because in the East, you had Toronto and Milwaukee. Mm-hmm. And Milwaukee goes on the road. I think they had lost uh, twice to Toronto already this year. Milwaukee, there's one of those two teams probably going to be the – uh, the number one seed in the East, and and now suddenly being the number one seed in the East matters. It's a big deal with no LeBron there to, you know, mm-hmm. to, to guarantee a victory for his team every year. So I thought that was important. Uh, Philadelphia went out west and beat Golden State. Now look, I, I know the Warriors have won ten in a row, and I'm on record fo fo and fo, but you know, Milwaukee went out west and beat Golden State earlier this year. Now Philly's gone out west and beat Golden State earlier. Uh, but back to LeBron. LeBron, you know, is what he is. And do you know what? In the long uh, game, it probably makes LeBron and the Lakers better that he missed these 21 games. I mean, it's, it, it, it's pretty clear with LeBron in the lineup, they're going to make the postseason. And that's really all you need, right? Right. If you've got if you've got number 23. So. We're getting ready for a jog or not. Yes, we are. Um, who do you think's going to win the East, by the way? Because we're we're deep into this now. I yeah. mean, and you know, I think when the season started, I think Philly and Boston probably had the sure. most. I don't. I, I haven't watched I, enough. It's a crapshoot. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't. Yeah, I haven't watched enough. You would know. I would like the. Uh, if I have to root for somebody, I probably would root for the Bucks. Yeah, I. Me too, Coach uh, Budenholzer. Yeah, but but the best uh, coach. How can you hate the Bucks in Atlanta you? ever? Even as a Bulls fan, you can't hate the Bucks. That's yeah. Milwaukee. They have Milwaukee. nothing. What does Milwaukee mean? Uh, the good land. Dan, it's really, I'm glad you asked. Yes. Uh, it's actually a very old, old, old Algonquin term. Yeah. Actually, it's pronounced Miliwake, oh. which is Algonquin for the good land. The good land. Thank Where's you. that from? That's uh, Alice Cooper in Wayne's World. Oh. When the boys had backstage passes, <laughs> hung out with Alice <laughs> in the lounge. All right. Um, uh, Dan, I just, yes, I, 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 you know, I, I'm in a in a rut. I don't know if it's a jinx, if I mush the entire enterprise or what it is. But I find that when I stumble across an ESPN 30 for 30 that I haven't, that I wasn't, you know, that I wasn't really planning on, on watching, uh-huh. I always thoroughly enjoy it and I learn something I yes. don't know. But every time I search one out, I end up disappointed. I think that... You didn't la- like the Dion one. I thought last time, I mean, it was fine. And I guess there are people that aren't... Maybe this is what happened with the Dion one for me. Yeah, I, I thought it was the least... Um, in a, I don't know what the word I'm looking for. I didn't learn anything from it. It was the least informative, the least interesting of all the ones that they've done, at least that I've seen. But I think part of that may be that I was, you know, at the time, and this was pre-Jags, was a raging Falcons and Braves fan. So I knew all of those details. I remember mm-hmm. the bouncing back and forth. I, you know, maybe not the specific stats, but, you know, that's that's not, 
you know, overwhelming to me when it mm-hmm. comes to learning something. I guess bottom line, I've just taken a long time to say, I thought the D on 30 for 30 sucked, Hick. By oh, ESPN, wow. By ESPN standards. I watched a good deal of it. Um, I didn't think it sucked. Sorry, Junie Bug. I didn't. I, it wasn't great, though. I liked the way – I kind of liked the, the the little things I like. Like, I like the limo pulling up with Prime on it and him getting out, flipping the chair and doing the glasses on and off. I'm Dion, I'm Prime. Yeah. That kind of thing. But I, I wonder this, and I, I hate to answer your question with another question, but I wonder this because Dion signed off on this, obviously. He agreed to do it. And when push comes to shove, the 30 for 30 kind of whittles down to your legacy. And is that his legacy? Is that Deion Sanders' legacy to me? To me, it isn't. Uh, not to me. To me, but, his legacy but is as the, a Hall of Fame. That's the story that they chose to player. tell, which Just, was th- that th- one little moment in his life. And it was filled with good and bad. Um, looked uh, Listen, he looked petty with the McCarver stuff. No matter how he slices it, you just you just don't do that. Well, he's young. McCarver's old, and yeah. McCarver. Yeah. I think Dion's right about one thing. McCarver told one side of the story on that. Yeah. Dion didn't know the Braves. Any, I thought, and I love the Braves. Everybody. Yeah. I thought the Braves looked really petty. I okay. thought. I thought there were yeah, expectations. Still, that doesn't give you the right to dump ice water all yeah, over a man no three times in right. a locker room. And he's that's also all. twenty-two years old. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Um, also doesn't give you the right. No, he knows better. I, I know. Uh, but, it, I, I, yeah, so I don't know. It was just it – was, it was interesting. And I liked – at the very end, he did this great explainer about the two sports and how they're like if they were women and you marry one and, you know, you, you try them both out and, you know, we'll never know what could have been if it was just baseball. And they kind of showed Cooperstown what he have ended up there. But there's no denying what a – he's probably the best cover corner in the history of the NFL. And and he could and he could have been an all star baseball player if that's all he played. Yeah, but could he have been a Hall of Fame baseball nah, player? Who knows? I Maybe. mean, he was a tremendous could athlete. Had, could have been Ricky. Oh, Anderson. here's something else I didn't know. And you, you don't know. I, I didn't. Did watch, you know he? I, I didn't watch like the last twenty minutes. I only got through the first four. Did you know he and Bo hit four home runs in a game together? In the game, Bo Jackson hit three home runs. Dion had an inside the park yeah, home run. I, I didn't remember. So Dion jokingly said, "Yeah, I always tell yeah. people me and Bo combined for four home runs." Yeah, he was with the Yankees, and it was earlier in his career. I didn't. And Bo laid out for the ball, and, hurt and he just missed it and hurt himself. Yeah. And Dion ran the bases. So there's some things in there. I don't know. I love them. So they typically the ESPN ones give me some. And stuff I, that I, 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 I also I'm not a. Aware of. I also wasn't a Braves Falcons fan, obviously. So, so there's the, some of the, yeah, yeah. the nuance. I'll ask you this. Uh, listen. I can't figure out Jerry Jones. He stands by a guy when he's no good. And it's just this one guy, um, Jason uh, 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 Jason Garrett. I was going to call him Wayne Garrett, the former Mets third baseman. Jason Garrett. And then he has his best year where, as a coach, I would argue that he went from three and five and dead in the water and rallied the boys back and – they won the division, won a playoff game, and in one possession game with the Rams. And now he's going into a lame duck season. And, in fact, in his last three years as a head coach of the Cowboys, it seems to be like he's kind of figured it out. 32 wins in his last three years. Uh, three playoff games. Why not now? Uh, you've, uh, you've lost all perspective. Yeah? It's been 23 years since the Cowboys went to a Super Bowl. That's a joke. Okay. Jerry Jones is a joke. Jason Garrett's a joke. Should have gone years ago. Right. Should have gone this offseason. Huh. He can't, clearly, he can't get this team over the top. He had a number one seed three years ago. Lost round his first game mm-hmm. to, to Green Bay. Mm-hmm. Um, I, yeah, I, I would have gone one step further and just fired him, hired Mike McCarthy tomorrow. I mean, mm. I, I, Jerry, uh, Jason Garrett does not have what it takes to be a championship winning coach in the NFL. Mm. He's been there 50 years too. How long has he been there, Dan? Yeah, are you, do you have his uh, resume still pulled up? Nine. Eight and a half. I mean, it's nine years. What does he have? One playoff win and all that time? Two now? Two and three. Yeah. But again, in the last three years, Jeff, he's won 32 football games. It's the Dallas Cowboys. If we were talking about, you know, the Falcons, it'd be a different story. Well, how come eight and eight was always good enough and now 32 wins and three? I'll tell you why. Yeah. Because Jerry went through that that stage where he ripped through about six coaches in seven years. That's why. They had Chan Gailey. They yeah. had Wade Phillips. They had uh, 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 Bill Parcells. They had... Right. You know, so I, I think that's what led to some of that, All right. at least. So, um, I don't, I don't, I, I, I think as you age and we forget how long twenty three years is. I mean, to my kids, the Cowboys are a joke, dude. 
I mean, you think our generation complains about Cowboys coverage? Try being a 25-year-old kid and seeing Cowboys, 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 and their success has been that of the Bengals. Not even. I mean, the Bengals have been as good as uh, the Cowboys, for Pete's sake. So, yeah, I don't... uh, I don't, yeah, that, that doesn't do much for me. All right, so apparently the uh, Matt, uh, the Pelicans decided, well, we will take a call from Los Angeles. Yeah. Anthony Davis seems like pretty desperately wants to go play in L.A. Yes. He has the same agent as LeBron. And I'm looking at the deal that was, I guess, proposed magic. If you're the Pelicans, you have to swallow it and, and, and take that deal. Right? I think that's a decent deal. Yeah, you have to. I mean, what else? you see what Barkley said? What? Like, he said that Adam Silver should step in and do the same thing David Stern did and shut it down. (laughs) Why? Because the Lakers are giving up too much or because they're getting Anthony Davis? because they're getting Anthony Davis. Well, that's that's not fair. You can't do that. The Pelicans are being forced into it. Yes. Why? Well, by Davis? Correct. Well, that's not true. They can just, they can make him play. I mean, they're not, you can't force him into anything. If you traded Anthony Davis right now, and the deal that I think I read, if I'm not mistaken, was... Kuzma, uh, Ingram, yeah, ball, well, yeah, uh, first rounder, first rounder, and one more. Yeah, there was. Uh, it was hard. Oh, no, the big kid. Zou, Zou, oh, Zubic. Yeah, yeah. I would take that deal. Yeah, I would too. I don't know that Boston gives you a better deal than that. I don't know either. Yeah, no, I, don't know that, well, so. I don't know that Jason Tatum is significantly better than Brandon Ingram. I do not know that to be true. I think they're closer than people probably. Not like Jason. I admit, l- listen. The well, old- Jeff. I will say this: It's not like the Lakers just went six and eleven without LeBron, though. Yeah, but with all those guys. No, I, I get that. Well, not all of them. Some of them have been have been hurting out of play. But I. I my question is: I, I, the, the Eastern. Remember. I guess my point is this: mm-hmm. the Eastern Conference All Star Reserves were announced yesterday. It's not chock full of these prospects to pace that the Celtics had sent no. to the Pelicans. No. My question is this: if the if the Pelicans did the, do this deal. It would be LeBron, AD, and and who? Hart, Rondo. <laughs> yeah. Um, may pick up some, you know, it doesn't matter really. Trade for DeAndre Jordan, Wesley Matthews. You could, man. I, you know, <laughs> do the Knicks just flat out release one of those guys? They better. To keep from winning. They better. So, anyway, it's a crazy time in the NBA. We'll see what happens All right, I, uh, with I, that. I know it's a, technically not my turn, but I want to ask one more because I, I'm fascinated oh. now oh. by the in, in, in continuing and increased delay in Bryce Harper and Manny Machado right. doing something. My hope my, is that major league owners, this isn't collusion, this is called having a half of a brain, have told that Boris Scott Boris, yeah. the agent, that we're not doing any 10-year deals. If you keep coming to us with 10-year deals, we're going to keep pointing you to the exit doors. And somebody has to take on some financial sanity here well, and stop listen, giving if you, 10-year deals to people. Well, I, I agree generally, but Bryce Harper's 26 years old. Well, if anybody's going to get a 10-year deal, different. it should be he's, Bryce Harper. He's, he's different. I mean, if you could lock up Bryce Harper, who may— that, That's fair. You know, why not give him a 10-year deal? Then you don't have to deal with him coming up again in four years. Yeah. And, you know, I yeah, I wouldn't be against that. Well, Machado's 26 as well. Yeah, so that's the only that's the only caveat I throw in this particular instance. You, have I, I, you know what? Even still, I would not give them 10-year deals. Okay. Baseball players, power-pitting position players at the age of 36 aren't still bringing it. I think it, what I don't want to give is $400 million. I think I'd be glad to give you 10 years and, you know, Two hundred and eighty million, well, and they probably won't take that, will they? And I mean, if you're getting two hundred and eighty million dollars, how can you? I, I don't understand how, what. <laughs> I mean, I do because your agents tell you, you can't take that deal. I'll look bad and blah blah blah. But you know, maybe he ends up. Well, I don't we know. learned yesterday it's the Padres. Padres man, yeah. I, I feel sorry for the poor Padres. They always try. No one ever goes there. They're so terrible. They haven't been to the playoffs in fourteen years. They is it fourteen years? Yeah. Like oh. 05, I think. Oh, right. 06, yeah. They went oh, 05, 06, back to back. 13 years. All right. Uh, that's good. That's what's uh, top of mind. Top of the mind with the 10-minute drill. Let's take caller number six today. Wow. Beef, if you want to go boogity, boogity, Let's boogity racing. That's right. And also enjoy some uh, That's right. hot, tasty pizza. Caller number six right now, 641-1010. Going to get a pair of tickets to the Duel at Daytona coming up. February 14th. Uh, tickets are on sale right now. Daytona what a Valentine's 500. Day gift you could give to your wife, huh? Com. Honey, also, we're going racing. Hey, if you want to win tickets to the Daytona 500, text the word Daytona to the text line driven by Duval Ford 641-1010 to enter. Also, you'll get a $20 gift card to spend at the new 1,000 Degrees Pizza at their new Southside location. All right. Uh, you've got a prop pack there. It's the uh, Friday five-pack 
uh, Super Bowl edition, which will include some prop bets. Next, on an All-American Roll-Off Henry Stockman product.